sorry life for today! Fortune is no longer on your side! No one will come to your aid. All I need is to take it elsewhere and rebuild everything on you! <laughs> Celestial Court, if given a choice, who dare to challenge the mighty wrecker of the Celestial Palace? His words ring true. No matter how daring he was, he had not the nerve to harm the great sage. There must be someone else pulling all the strings. Exactly, and this thing is eerie. I have no idea how to make use of its power, except to enshrine it up there, tricking lesser Yaoguais into offerings. If you pardon me, I'll go back to Guanyin to atone for my actions and be put back on the engaging band. You will never see me out there anymore. No, oh, ignore his nonsense. Go now, little monkey. Go and retrieve the great sage's relic.卷起千般缘，色与空，弹指间。轮回路，有万次劫，求不得。闭上眼，一生功名忙如烟，浮沉落花断不。究竟寻常事，有情出不远。
master. It still puzzles me. A monk's lust for gold should be quelled. Why does Elder Jinche still cling to that one Kasaya? Hmm. Bereft of that Kasaya. How shall they show the world their ties are cut and their lust is quelled? Across streams, over hills, and through the black wind your blood has spilled. Wolves howl, snakes wind, flames lick, and the smoke blinds. Stumble on the lesser, lame, crash before their betters, shame. With such clumsiness, what destiny do you claim? As the small fish catches its prey, the bigger lurks behind. Who is the bigger fish? I can't see it. As for the prey and the small fish, <laughs> they are swimming everywhere. In his last life, the monk was Jin Chanzu, the second disciple to Buddha in the West. Yet his arrogance led him to disregard the Dharma teachings, and as a result, the Buddha cast him down to the mortal realm. He was destined to face 81 trials throughout his journey. The fire for that Kasaya was merely the eleventh. A mere human, blessed with a lifespan nearing three centuries, yet he was never sated. He just had to seize that one Kasaya. Centuries of devotion undone by a moment's greed. In the end, a lost soul became him. How pathetic. A fine guardian for Guan Yin he could have been, yet he came back here to daydream immortality. Sadly, he had the greed, but lacked the pluck. He could fool his followers, but not himself. His destiny was sealed the moment he donned that band. Which deities do most abound upon the earth? The keepers, surely. Though humble in rank, nothing in the mortal world escapes their eyes. You'd be wise not to spurn their kind, for who knows what powers stand behind them. 